Protesters, meantime, gathered this afternoon at the newly reopened Coal Park Pier, the group accusing city developers of what they call hostile architecture. The city tonight defending its park design. Our Alexis Green has those details. According to one of the organizers of today's peaceful protests at Coal Park Pier, hostile architecture is when cities, transportation authorities, and businesses put in features that are meant to keep the homeless away. Um, in Corpus, it's mainly things like these bars on the benches. That way, homeless people can't lay down to rest. Mariah Boone says some of the city's ordinances that are in place make it harder for those who already struggle from being unhoused, limiting the amount of public spaces they can go. Our city does so many really good things in this area, like a lot of really good things. But things like this, we don't need. Um, and things like like the panhandling ordinance, which you know violates the free speech of people who are panhandling. Things like the Blucher Park ordinance, which targets people who slept or ate in the park. The city's park director, Dante Gonzalez, responded, saying a lot of thought went into the park's design and it was intended to be welcoming. We've actually taken a, a very good look and a deep dive into the architecture of that particular park. I think that park is a lot more welcoming than what it used to be. According to Gonzalez, the railing you see can be found at most of all parks here in Corpus Christi, and it is an industry standard across the nation. You know, we actually don't encourage uh, people to go and s uh, sleep there or lay down in some of the benches because those, those amenities are not meant for that particular reason. We actually encourage them to go out to one of the other facilities throughout the city where they can actually lay down, uh, may, you know, rest their head on a bed. The new architecture aligns with the city's ordinance prohibiting the sitting or lying in the public right-of-way. Those public right-of-way areas include the downtown central business district, North Beach, and Flower Bluff. Something that it violated can result in a fine of up to $500. Lexus Green, 3 News. Thank you, Lexus. Some of those facilities looking to help those in need in the coastal bend include Mission 911, along with the Good Samaritan and the Salvation Army.